What is up people, it's your boy Shreko back at it with some more Final Fantasy 7 Remake. We just snuck out of Aerith's house and now we're trying to make it back to the Sector 5 slums. So, let's get into it. How did I know? How did I know? I, f I thought she was going to come well, up from behind him though. Is. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. He didn't show us what he saw. Is something wrong? It's nothing. Oh. They weren't separated that I long ago. <laughs> They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. I don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. Okay. Let's hope it's actually a shortcut. It's been like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Oh, well, hello. I, I, I forget the range on that is terrible. Where are you going, dude? A big arm. Kind of cute, don't you think? Uh, yeah. How's a big arm cute? Oh, great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. I wonder if we can use this. Huh. 
Robot arm instruction manual. It's this way. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. We just shake it around and throw her off. those there <clears throat> you did it yeah <laughs> uh. hmm? all right good enough let's keep on trucking hmm. stop what the heck okay did makes sense up? Okay, uh, oh, this way. Ah. Had a f oh what? Come on, I thought they were like Autobot assembling or some shit. container with the arm oh okay not half bad so do you moonlight as a crane operator or something He's left her hanging twice now. Maybe third time is a charm. Oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Bye 
Place it here. Oh, there she is. I didn't notice her for a second. So items you contain by operating the machinery. No. I'm glad they told us that. Um, I was thinking I could get it myself with Cloud. Hmm. Hold on a second. Gotcha. Too fast, okay? Got it. Is this not a secret? I thought this was like a secret area. I hate that in games when you're like, oh yeah, I found a path. And I'm like, what? No, it's an actual path? Dang. It's just us. Mm. No. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides, looky here, boys. Caught us some burglars. Coming into our homes and stealing our shit. Doing crimes. <laughs> I'd say world compensatory damages. <laughs> Compliment, composite, I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, no, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. We were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. Uh, okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due, due recompense. Oh my god, these guys are retarded. Brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, uh, Can I beat him up already? Compensatory damages. Oh, so damages recompense. <laughs> I think we've heard enough. Thank you. No holding back. No way. Oh, hell no. This dude just stole my money. Eric, do something. I'll take care of him. My Here 
Okay, cool. I got my girl back. Okay, guys. Whatever you do. Freaking idiots. Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Wait, you guys! Don't leave me! I'm coming! Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Oh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any like, war buddies? Like Zack? No. Like Zack? Not oh, really. Not gonna talk about oh, Zack? Okay. I mean, I know that's a... That's a wound he probably doesn't want to touch, but... Aerith knows Zack too! Trouble here. Here we go. He just pounced on her. Gotta keep going. Stupid ladders, always out of reach. Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it? There's two arms here, though. Can I operate both of them? Yeah, switch arms. Okay. It's this way. Orb of Magnify. Gotcha. It took longer than I thought it would. High five again? That went pretty well. Sure did. Uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... <laughs> nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? Hold it Hello. right there, love no birds. Back. You want to pass your arm character? <laughs> then you got to pay the cash. <laughs> Yay. Cloud, up top. Long awaited high five. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> He's like, I'm over it. Uh, hey, this is the playground, ain't it? All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on. You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? Soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever Bruh. Met. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. They're so close to talking about it, and they didn't talk about it. Here. Hmm? This won't take long. <sighs> Ready! <sighs> Wanna get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies, and it's safer, too. <laughs> Guess this is it, then. Ready? Let's go. Yeah. later but now i'm on my way to see don corneo you should head back to seventh heaven meet up with the gang but i'll be fine 
You've seen how much ass I can kick? <laughs> I have. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. Why do they do that? Come on, Cloud. We got Aerith left the party. Aerith joins the party again two seconds later. <laughs> but I'm all for saving Tifa or helping Tifa. idea where she went no and if you don't need a ride then get the hell out of here can't you see I'm trying to work can't say I can no what'd you say to me you what's all the rest out here hmm. I don't know you what's your story we're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages can you help us find her depends what do you want with this girl here guess we want to save save her from a life without this handsome guy huh so that's how it is huh well i get a lot of customers hard to keep track of them all this girl what she look like well she's in great shape a great fighter she's great at handling the books uh i don't know man She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's going to be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his taste better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon. If at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <sighs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Hey, newbie. This delivery isn't due for inspection. Welcome to Walmart, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little scratch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so this place looks fairly big. What are you guys doing? Oh, my stomach. Oh. 
Think you're too good for my Hey Chadley. Cloud. I will go wherever my research leads me, but the success of my endeavors rests entirely upon you. Your assistance would be much appreciated. Uh, to enter or not to enter, that is the question. Wherefore does this philosophical quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? Yeah, I should have figured. You're not the philosophical introspective type like me. That soft, naive face. I know you're kind well, bro. You're just another muscle head who uses violence to work through your inner demons. It's sad, really. Huh? Yeah, what's up? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you and how do you know her? No, shut up. I don't care. Tifa's here? Why? Tell me why! Oh, God, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She came looking for me to beg me not to leave her. <gasps> Snap out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you! Tifa, I'm coming, baby! Who was that? Nobody you want or need <laughs> to know. Yeah. Welcome to Wall Market's premier weapon shop. Ooh. Hard edge. Yeah, we buying. We buying. Check it out. Uh... I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. What's up, dudes? Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kind of cute, it's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. <laughs> Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madam M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. All right. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the way it is. <laughs> Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Stupid! Crawl into my hole! Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram! Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? 
pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time we'll be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Already recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong. And you'll leave me in peace. Uh. What should we? What should we do? Um. Tails. We'll just go with tails. Tails. Dead. You lose. Man. So glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, and not just the meal. Now get daddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? the wall market way lesson learned still cheating all right that didn't work so now we got to try one of the other two I guess they're closed right now this is the place. I just Think wanted so. to see Andrea. Let me handle this. this. We will. You wait out but here, okay? It was like. Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that. You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. He looks scummy. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years. What? Back. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Okay, so... We gotta go back to this Madam M person, but the door was locked, so like... <laughs> welcome, welcome. Just the two of you, step right up. Now then, 
What manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> And what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well... Hmm... Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! <sighs> the strong, firm hands of a fighter. Yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. <sighs> okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? Uh, all or nothing, baby. Let's go. <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well to do patrons. First. The hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. I didn't think this was going to get this spicy. Oh, did that hurt? No. <laughs> Then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation. They knew what they were doing, man. Come on. <laughs> no, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure. Is this how you like it? Bruh. How about this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> what the fuck? If that was to your liking, do come again. Right. How was it? Huh? You okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? He's fucking beat. Really weird. Huh? Think you'll make a habit of it? I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm? Okay. Really? But... You cannot go dressed like that. 
Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? No matter what I think? Well, I think it's pretty cool. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? Hmm. <laughs> You just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. Okay, so now we got a fight to get to. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the help. Ah. Friends, don't get too happy, okay? Step right up. What's this? You're here to compete? I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. How deep does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Yeah, I wonder that too. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus, like you should. Figured we might as well try out our other weapons that we got. This dude. Oh, you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but... If you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. 
Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. It's fine with me. It's a gift from Don Corneo. Drink it, and they say you'll be raring to go for hours on end. If I had, maybe things would have gone differently for me. Maybe you should. It's yours if you want. Um, not sure. Could be a trick. But, fuck it. How is it? It's thick. But you like it so much you couldn't possibly share, right? Let's do this. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. It's a big chain, my guy. For our next match, we welcome two fighters. A young couple, no less. Talk about a bad day. Well, this is their first tournament. The bad first date. And most likely their last. Inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! down go team hmm. what's wrong the rules don't make sense yeah true but maybe it'll be better in the next match nah wouldn't bet on it better to expect the worst uh it's not your turn yet your names will be announced over the speaker just wait until then okay cloud and Aaron. Your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. Bro, we got this. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals, 
fresh from their first date with death, I present the Lucky Couple! More like unlucky for the rest of us! Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric! Couple my ears! What the hell you two trying to pull? You assholes cost me a fortune! Yeah, yeah! They're opponents! Screamers in the scrapyard! Thieves and killers through and through! Too criminal for common criminals! The worst of the worst! Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets, because they may have already robbed you blind! The most contemptible sons of bitches in town of Wall Market! Bats! Benefits! Oh my god, these guys really. Sleep for like ever. Eight of them. Exactly, but a lot. But somehow the winners of our match are once again Cloud and Aaron. That kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. <laughs> so is half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> That is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing. Andy! Hmm. 
Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Yeah, but that's the problem. They're gonna throw some bull crap. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling tornado cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go! <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who surprised us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eric! Fair. It's just robots. robots. More like Shinra armor. More like cheating. <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history. The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now. Come here, you little... Looking forward to a little temper tantrum. When you 
bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match. I had a feeling, dude. What? I really did. If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute. His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madam M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal! Don't you think I know that? <laughs> you greedy bastard! Scum-sucking piece of shit-festering asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Okay. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? Yes, so. It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we share your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order. <laughs> Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Cloud and Aaron! Her mom would be so pissed right now. Literally a whole house. It's just a house. It's no ordinary house. The manifestation of pure evil versus the most badass couple this side of Midgar. Have you ever seen a fight more incredible, more epic? You have not. No, sir, you have not. They'll be singing songs about tonight for generations to come. Keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen. The Cup's final, final battle begins now. What the hell? Literally. Ah! And already I can tell you this bonus match will not get the point. Get ready. This is the bonus match. The meanest of the means. But can they handle the horror of the hellhound? I don't know if Thunder's gonna do anything to it. 
Not really. A blizzard might. Not really. I don't want your hospitality. Wait, is Aerith in? Okay, I thought Aerith was in there. Oh, can it change uh, elements? Is that what that is? Oh, that healed it. That healed it. Where did it go? This is messed up. This is messed up. Mode. What the heck is this, dude? This is insane. This is freaking ridiculous, dude. How am I supposed to beat this guy? Let it wash over you, restore you inside and out. It keeps doing the same stuff. This is retarded. What was that? This is fucking rigged, man. Yay. What did that do? Nothing at all. I can't even smack the damn thing, man. Damn it. Dude, that is fucking retarded. Had all that gauge built up, didn't get to use it because it wants to suck. Oh, great. The man eating monstrosity, the horror, the hell house. Finally. No, come on. Keep it together. I'm coming. Stay 
Stay strong and carry on. Are you rolling me? Who wants this? The old switcher for me. As usual, this one's for you. Go on. No freaking clothes. I've been fighting this guy for an hour. Look at its health, dude. I've been fighting this guy for over an hour. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how I managed to do it. Aerith, MVP. Okay, uh... There you are. I've been looking for you two. So, Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good, and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. The Corneo Coliseum is the venue of or venue for ferocious arena battles that take place day and night, clearly. When you want to fight a battle, head to the basement and talk to the staff. Items cannot be used during battle, but HP and MP are slightly restored after each fight. Items cannot be stolen from your opponents. God, so it gets even harder than that? Man. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc. I'm told you did a wonderful job helping the people of Sector 5. <laughs> you have a very impressive work ethic. It's like they say, good things come to those who work. What goes around comes around, and in ways that might surprise you. <laughs> I'm going to put Aerith in the most gorgeous dress you've ever seen. <laughs> It'll be a real jaw-dropper. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right, then. Let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation. Far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Aerith, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch! 
much. Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to go ahead and call it there. Uh, this was a challenge. I cannot lie. It took forever for me to get past that hell house. So, um, anyway, if you somehow made it this far, go ahead and like the smack the like button. It helps out so much. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think, how you're feeling. And, uh, subscribe. You know, we got plenty of it on the way. Rebirth is coming soon. We're gonna be posting all of that. So, I appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.